How's it going everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a six-figure Amazon seller and full-time student and in today's video I'm going to be using tactical arbitrage to do some live sourcing for online arbitrage with you guys. I did one of these earlier and you seem to get some good value out of it. I got some good feedback. So I'm just going to dive into a tactical arbitrage search. Um, I'll show you where to find maybe a good coupon deal that I can go ahead and scan real quick and then we'll just go ahead and look through that data and try to find a good product or two. Um, and if you're watching this video uh, early on you might just be able to go ahead and buy whatever products I find because I'll go ahead and give away a couple leads here on um, maybe some first products that you could go ahead and check out. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out Tactical Arbitrage during this video, there's going to be a link down below. It's going to be an extended free trial and it'll also help me out as well. Uh, but let's jump right into it. So the first thing I do when I'm going to start sourcing for online arbitrage is I will go ahead and check uh, Rakuten. I'll check Rakuten for any good um, coupon codes that are up on this top bar here. I'm just going to scroll through up top real quick, see if there's anything good, and then I'll just go ahead and start checking stores I know. Uh, this is interesting. It's 25% off on skincare plus or on skin store plus eight back. Uh, Tactical Arbitrage doesn't have this, so I'm going to skip this for now, but that might be worth manually searching. Um, let's see if there's anything good. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything good. It looks just like a bunch of uh, not great stuff today. So I'm going to go ahead and look at a couple websites. The first one I'm going to check is iHerb. Um, see what kind of coupon deals we got here. Um, looks like we got 20% off on um, sunscreen and self tanner. That could be interesting. So we could go ahead and run a search on this. I'm also going to go ahead and check Walgreens here real quick. See if they've got any good deals this week. Um, let's see if what we got, let's see what we're working with here. Um, I'm just checking the front page for any good coupons. So this front page coupon looks like we got buy one get one free and, and buy one get one 50 off. So we go ahead and shop. Um, let's go ahead and just click this so we can list them all. And then now we've got, uh, looks like 414 items that are buy one get one free. So basically these are going to be 50% off um, retail plus a um, couple percentage cash back from Rakuten and then your one or two percent back from whatever your credit card is. So we're going to go ahead and grab this link here. We're going to take it into a product search over here. You're going to go to Walgreens. Uh, you're going to copy that URL into here, um, this one right here. And then you're going to do start page one. And then you're going to just go to the bottom or the top, depending on whatever website on. Um, and wherever it says uh, one of whatever, you're going to just type in this. So in this case, it's just to page six. I'm going to go down here to price adjustments. This is going to be 50% off basically because it's buy one get one free. Um, and we're also going to be getting about 3% cash back. And then sales tax for me is about 8%. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run a search on this. And then we will uh, check out the data when it's finalized. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in right now. I'm going to, so I'm just going to kind of go through my process of what I'm seeing and why or why not. I would go ahead and click through and check it out, see if it's worth sourcing. Um, this first product right here, the titles don't match, so I'm going to move on. Um, second thing, looks like titles don't match again. Um, number three, we've got this one has some kind of red bar on the product, and this one doesn't, so it's not a match. Um, I bet it's like a flavoring. Yeah, so this says cherry flavor, and then this one doesn't mention it. Um, we've got, again, a mismatch here. Uh, looks like these products match. Um, I'm checking this the Keepa here to make sure that the buy box price that it's pulling is correct. It looks like it's pulling about 22, so it's pulling up here. It's maybe a little higher than it's been in the past, but we're just going to go ahead and check out the um, Keepa and the actual product here real quick. Uh, if I could open it. Okay, so we've got a two-pack of 80 gummies. Um, looks like it's selling fairly well. Um, F, there's no FBA on this, so I bet it's probably a, a meltable product. Um, but we're going to go ahead and check over here real quick. Okay, so we've got 40 gummies here, and then this one is 80 gummies. So we're, this is not a good lead here. Um, this These bottles look a little different. This mentions odorless, but it could just be a new... Um, uh, a new packaging of some kind So we've got this one for essentially 450 and then this is for nine or about ten dollars um, So we can just run this real quick. So if we're paying 450 for this, this isn't really that profitable um, What was it pulling here? Um, I think maybe the fees are just calculated a little weird. We're just gonna move on um, Let's see what we got here We've got 350 capsules, so this product is going to be about 11-ish uh, dollars. Uh, we're just going to close these out. And then on Amazon, we're going to be able to sell it for, right now it's about 25, but I was noticing on the Keepa, in the past it's been 18. So if we're getting it for, yeah, about 11 after tax, we're selling it for 18. There's probably not a lot of profit left on there. Yeah, so this is break even. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and check that out. 
Uh, checking here on this keepograph, looks like we've got a good amount of sales. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click through on both. Looks like the products match. Um, we've got two pack, 165 count, uh, 165 count, but it's out of stock. So you could um, go ahead and throw this product in a spreadsheet or something. Um, next time Walgreens does buy one get one vitamins, you could go ahead and check this out um, because I bet this would be pretty profitable. Uh, so it's selling for uh, $28 conservatively, and we're going to be able to buy it for uh, $12 plus tax. So about $14 when you throw in shipping and stuff too. So that's a $4 profit. That's almost a 20% uh, margin. I'm actually going to, what was that showing me here? It said it found it in stock somewhere. If I could see that. Um, Honey will also show you, I think this is, yeah, this is Rakuten that shows you um, where else it's in stock. So I'm going to just see what we got here. It's probably just a one count. Uh, looks like it didn't work. Uh, sometimes that'll kind of show you maybe somewhere that it isn't is it is in stock. Um, we could also go ahead and run a quick uh, Google search on this, see if we can find anything where it's for sale. We got it for twelve ninety nine. That's a little high. Um, Walmart's pretty high. Let's see if anybody's running any kind of sale. Um, this is twenty percent off basically, uh, but that's still not going to be profitable. Yeah, so we're just going to go and skip this. Next time Walgreens has a buy one get one sale, you can go ahead and check this product out. Go back to your spreadsheet, and if this is in stock, this is actually a pretty good flip. Um, let's go ahead and keep going down the line here. We've got some gummies again. 50 count. We've got 50 count strawberry flavored out of stock. Next product. Uh, same product here, still out of stock. Uh, we've got some gummies. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this one's out of stock as well. Um, just for fun, we could go ahead and see if it's profitable. Um, looks like they're selling for, uh, these would be $4 a bottle, and they are selling two packs for $20, or about $22 recently. Um, conservatively, we can, again, we can just call it $21, and you're paying about $8, or $9 after tax and everything, so that's pretty good there. That's a pretty good ROI, almost, almost like 40-ish percent ROI, 20% margin-ish. Um, that's a pretty good flip. You could add that to that same spreadsheet. This one I'm just going to skip because I don't like how slow this Keepa is. Um, I, I just prefer to flip things with a little higher volume. Um, we're going to go ahead and check out this one right here. We've got biotin keratin 150 tabs. Uh, biotin keratin 150 tabs. So it could be the right product here. Um, the sales, vol sales velocity is a little bit slow. Also, the new seller count is increasing a lot race recently. So, um, one, you're not as likely to get a big share of the buy box because you're going to be sharing it between 11 people versus like two where it used to be um, two weeks ago. Um, and uh, the sales velocity is just a little slow. I'm going to go ahead and run the Jungle Scout estimator on this. This is going to tell me how many sales this product sees every month. It only sees 23 sales every month, currently split between nine FBA sellers. Um, and we could fact check that here. We could also check the number of competitive sellers. So if the if a listing has a bunch of sellers, um, you can just go off the Jungle Scout. But if you really want to dive in, you can look at the number of competitive sellers, which is sellers priced within uh, two two to three percent of the buy box. It's got to be pretty close. Um, so the buy box is twenty two nineteen. So we've got one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These might be competitive sellers. Um, but definitely definitely five competitive sellers. So you're splitting 24 sales basically between six sellers So you're gonna see uh, you know four sales a month probably not a whole lot um, But just in case this product might be super profitable So it might be interesting to check out for like a, a high profit low velocity type product So this product is going to be about ten dollars um, including or uh, Maybe yeah, so maybe uh, 1050 including shipping and everything Let's go ahead and run a profit calculation. So we would be making five dollars a unit. That's um, a fifty percent ROI, basically. Um, so if you wanted to go ahead and check this out for a slow-moving product, you could get maybe ten units of this, have it in stock for um, a month and a half, two months, maybe three months. Um, but just uh, it's about adding those those products that are just cons going to consistently make you money. Um, not everything's going to be uh, life-changing overnight, so you could maybe check that out if you're interested, especially if you don't have a lot to spend. Um, you could just kind of prove the concept with that product right there, maybe uh, something to look into. Um, this one's another bit of a slower seller. We're just going to go ahead and click through real quick, see if it's worth checking out. 
This one's only got three sellers, so we'd be splitting it between less people. Looks like the new price fluctuates a little bit, somewhere average around 20. Um, this one is out of stock, so we're just gonna go ahead and move on. Um, this one is the, so the purple on um, tactical arbitrage means that it's a multi-pack, and tactical arbitrage knows it's a multi-pack, so it went ahead and adjusted those prices. Um, looks like it sells decently quickly. Um, not super fast, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Um, this is in stock. So we're going to be paying about $7 or about $8, including shipping and tax after it's all said and done. This is this one is selling for average of like $38. Um, so we're paying 30 or you're uh, you're selling it for 38 and you're paying about 21, um, maybe 22 or because uh, it's yeah, it's $7 a unit plus tax. So it would maybe be closer to um, 23, five after shipping. Um, so this is going to be a five dollar profit on twenty three five spend. Um, we could just run a quick ROI calculation on that. That's going to be the um, five point two eight divided by twenty three point five. So that's only a twenty two percent ROI. Um, this one is maybe the best one we've seen yet because it's um, a consistent seller, but the ROI is a little bit low. Um, but you would make a little bit of money on that. Um, let's we're going to go ahead and keep uh, searching here. Uh, this one's out of stock. We're just going to go ahead and move on. Um, this one, we've got a pretty good consistent sales pattern here. It's selling fairly quickly. We're going to go ahead and check out the Amazon. Um, we've got 60, 60 gummies, two bottles. Um, we've got 60 gummies. Uh, make sure the flavors match. We got that picture, pineapple, raspberry, orange, um, pineapple, raspberry, orange. So it looks like it's the same product. So no issues there. So we're going to run a quick profit calculation. This is our uh, 19.49 plus tax um, is going to put you at about 22 maybe after shipping and everything. Um, so we're going to run this profit calculation with 22 in there. So this is going to be a 16% margin. You're going to be making 6.44 on 22 um, expenses all in basically. So that would be uh, 6.44 divided by 22. So this is about a 30% ROI. This product is actually fairly decent. Um, I would be interested. I would maybe buy this product. Um, maybe it's a little lower ROI, but the sales velocity is there. Um, these new products, you probably won't be selling this product for forever because it's only had a quick uh, sales velocity since about April. Eventually, new sellers are going to come on and kind of take those profits down a little bit. But you could this this product has potential for about probably one to two months worth of inventory. And to figure out how much inventory you would need on this, you're going to find the number of monthly sales, which is 182. We're going to count those number of competitive sellers again. So we've got this one is, um, it looks like we've got mostly FBM sellers, fulfilled by merchant sellers. And we've got one, two, um, this one's kind of competitive. So we're going to be splitting it out. So we've got one, two, three-ish sellers. Um, maybe four if you want to include yourself in there and that um, higher priced seller. We're also going to do a quick check to make sure that this is not a meltable product. This pro this Excel sheet is from Amazon. You can just Google um, meltables product um, Amazon spreadsheet and you'll pull this up. When you're sourcing in the summer, you're going to want to check this when you're doing gummies or any edibles or uh, any uh, food, anything like that. Um, so we're going to just throw this up in the top there, see if we can find it in the document. Um, it did not find it, so this is not a meltable product. Um, I wondered if it was a meltable because there's so many fulfilled by merchant sellers, um, but we've got those three um, F or, uh, FBA sellers on this listing. So we're going to be splitting 192 sales between um, those FBA sellers, so 182 divided by 4. So we're going to see 45 sales of this every month times the 2. So you'd want to buy 90 units of this product. Um, and per unit on this product, we were making... Um, 644 divided by 2, so 322. So this product right here would make you about $300 a month if you wanted to stock up, get um, 90 bottles, 45 units of the 2-pack. Um, so that's a pretty good product there. Um, so you can really see the power of online arbitrage um, just in this like 10-15 uh, minutes. I found a product that you're going to make $300 a month on. Um, if you find you know 5 to 10 of those, that's really going to add up and build you a pretty sustainable little income there. Um, see, I think we're almost to the end of this data. I'm just going to check this last product and then we'll be done here. Um, we've got a twin pack right here. They're both 150 count. A little bit of a slow seller, but looks like the sales volume might be picking up a little bit. Um, what do we got over here? Oh, and we've got out of stock. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I helped out your business, so if you could help out mine and hit that subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, feel free to like, uh, ask any questions you have about tactical arbitrage, about online arbitrage. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out a free resource I built for you guys, just a simple little profit calculation spreadsheet that's going to be down below um, on my website. There's also a Facebook group, uh, tactical arbitrage link, extended free trial, all that good stuff. Um, gotta always stay plugging. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time.